Hello, boys and girls. We are going to look at one of our worksheets today, our grammar worksheet, which is talking about exclamations. So let me present that to you so we can see it together. Let's see, there we go. That should be the right one. Okay, and we'll come over here and make things a little bigger so we can see them together. Okay, so our worksheet looks like this. And it's telling us that a command is a sentence that tells someone to do something. It ends with a period. So we talked about that yesterday. A command is when we're telling someone to do something like go to bed, feed the dog, get in the car. Those are all commands. An exclamation or an exclamatory sentence, those mean the same thing, an exclamation or an exclamatory sentence, is a sentence that shows excitement or strong feeling. It ends with an exclamation mark. So if I'm saying something like, I love my dog, and I'm saying it excitedly or with strong feelings, then I would end that sentence with an exclamation mark. So let's take a look at our instructions for what we're going to do on this worksheet. After each sentence, write statement, question, command, or exclamation. So you can see that we're adding a little bit every day. One day we were just determining whether it was a statement or a question. Then we had to determine whether it was a statement, a question, or a command. And now we're going to determine whether it's a statement, question, command, or exclamation. So place the correct punctuation at the end of the sentence. So if we have a statement, what punctuation goes at the end? Right, a period. And if we're asking a question, what punctuation do we mark do we use at the end? Correct, a question mark. When we had a command, what were we placing at the end? Did we have a special mark for that? No, same as a statement. We ended our command with a period. But if we have an exclamation, now we have a special mark to use. And what is that? Right, the exclamation mark. Whoops, made it too small again. OK, let's look at the first one together. I want to go to Florida next summer. OK, this one, I'd say, it would depend how I said it. I want to go to Florida next summer. That sounds like a statement. I would end it with a period. But what if I said, I want to go to Florida next summer? Then I think I could make it an exclamation and add an exclamation point. So some of these may depend on how you said the sentence. So there might be more than one correct answer. Okay. Let's look at number three. Have you ever been there? Does it matter if I say, have you ever been there? Or have you ever been there? Still a question either way. So we're going to put a question mark at the end. So you're going to complete this worksheet. There are 10 questions. We did number one and number three together. So that only leaves you eight questions to do. Remember to turn it in when you're finished. Let me come back to you. All right, so turn it in when you're finished. And like I always say, you're not on your own here. If you need some help, a little guidance, please come and see me either from one to two or send me a message and we can get together some other time. Okay, so don't just flounder through if you're not sure what to do. Make sure that you come and we can go over it together because we don't always get things the first time. I know I don't. You can tell me how to do something and I think I have it and then I go to do it and I'm like, hmm, I don't think I really understand how to do this and I might need some help. So that's why I'm here to give you some help. So come and see me during my office hours or at another time. All right, talk to you later, bye.